Well, this month we're celebrating incredible women who are making a name for themselves. And in this morning's Tech Time with Andrew Humphrey, Andrew is introducing us to a very true trailblazer. In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, not long ago, a Michigan student accomplished a groundbreaking achievement while earning her doctorate. She continues by helping the world and inspiring others. Dr. Sierra Sibbles is a nuclear engineer. As such, she was the first African-American woman to earn a PhD in nuclear engineering from the University of Michigan, making her a pioneer. <laughs> I don't feel like a pioneer, um, but you know, I don't know. I feel like I just, honestly, I just do things because I think they need to be done. And what Dr. Sibbles has been doing is breaking barriers for a while, even since her days growing up and going to high school in Chesapeake, Virginia, near Norfolk. She first wanted to be a chef until her chemistry teacher noticed her talents in math and science. He was like, have you heard of engineering? And I was like, I don't know what that is. And he was saying, well, you should go look it up. She applied to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and became the first in her high school's history to ever be accepted. At first, she studied chemical engineering until her MIT peer host spoke up. And she was saying, yeah, based on what you're saying, that doesn't sound like that's what you want to do. It sounds more like you want to do something like in the nuclear realm. And I was like, okay. That led to her first degree in nuclear engineering. She was ready to teach middle school until her advisor chimed in. My advisor, again, someone just saying, hey, you know, I don't think you've given yourself a chance in nuclear engineering. You've never done any research. So that's kind of where I made that connection. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to grad school. I'm gonna be an academic so I can combine my love of teaching with research. And that led to the University of Michigan was kind of like, oh, I didn't really know much about Michigan. I knew it was the best school for nuclear at the time. And so when I got, you know, admitted, I was just like, man, now, I, now another door has opened that I got to walk through. <laughs> then she walked across the graduation stage, earning her doctoral degree, the first black woman in her field to do so at Michigan. I don't want to, you know, downplay my achievements, but I felt like, hey, I had a goal and that's what I did. And this, me being the first to do it, just came along with the goal. Now she's at Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, near her hometown, but right outside Washington, D.C. Her work is classified, but she studies the effects of nuclear material in an effort to keep the United States and the world safe and secure. How does it feel saving the world or keeping the world safe? <laughs> Again, I see it as a problem. I see everything as a problem that has a solution. And so as long as I'm doing my job and coming up with solutions, and I feel good about that, I feel, you know, that I'm doing my job. And Dr. Sierra Civils performs her job to the utmost. And that is just the beginning. In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, we'll hear more about Dr. Civils, her upbringing, and overcoming obstacles. Okay, I think my favorite part of that story was when Andrew asked her the question <laughs> and just her laugh. And she's like, you know what? Every I see things as problems and I just find solutions. That's incredible. She's like, I'm not a superhero. Exactly, but we're all like, no, you kind of are. You, you pretty much are. And like Andrew just said, we have more on how Dr. Sierra Civils overcame obstacles growing up. That's ahead in our 8 o'clock hour. Looking forward to it. Absolutely. Mm.